What's up, guys? Happy Friday. It's uh, going to be Halloween tomorrow, and it's one day less until we get our Series X in our hands. So this past week has been a little nuts, and I found this article that uh, Jim Ryan, CEO of PlayStation, is uh, a little butthurt when it comes to Microsoft purchasing all these studios lately. Turns out that Jim Ryan does not appreciate that uh, Microsoft have purchased these studios, you know, to, to solidify their first party library. And he just simply does not like it. He tries to brag about how his studios are organically grown, right? They just, they, they were grown from within the Sony camp. And let's not forget, Microsoft has their own as well. Sure, purchased some, some studios here and there throughout the years, but they've also have grown within. But as with the Sony fans always making fun of the Xbox for not having first party studios, for not having so many great games, and always kind of just jabbing at the fans and at the, at the brand saying, hey, why don't you do better? Look at Sony yada 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 we are number one look at our you know our movie games check it out and the moment that microsoft purchased all these major studios these fantastic studios it seems like jim ryan and the cult sony fans are completely butthurt they can't stand that microsoft have these deep pockets have these wonderful relationships with these studios that they purchased and now they're going to become exclusive to the xbox brand so to the sony fans watch out for what you wish for this is what you wanted this is what you were you know nagging all the xbox fans in microsoft and you know they listened microsoft listened to all the complaining and what did they do they bought major studios they solidified their first party library they solidified their number of studios and somehow jim ryan and his cult followers are bitching about this but somehow jim ryan wants to twist this just like his fans into something more positive for sony saying we grow from within did you not just purchase insomniac to make spider-man exclusive to the ps4 and now the the new spider-man on the ps5 was that not done recently and nobody bitched about it that's not growing organically from within the company that's called purchasing what it's which it, which exactly what microsoft did but somehow when microsoft does it it's a bad thing it's not good for the industry but when sony does it it's a genius move i can't believe they did this because it's awesome that's how the cult followers of sony see it so fantastic for microsoft for sacking up buying these studios and making it exclusive to the xbox brand sure we'll probably see some titles some smaller titles go multi-plat just like minecraft but the big heavy hitters you're not gonna see them on PlayStation. You're just not. They're not gonna pay $7.5 billion to share it with the Sony platform. If they were, they might as well not even buy them. There'll be no point to it. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is an awesome move by Microsoft and a just butthurt uh, reaction from Sony, the CEO? It is from the CEO. It's, what cracks me up the most is the CEO is really butthurt that Microsoft are making these moves. And then he has to come out and kind of pump his chest about his organically grown studios. All right, guys, this is Techno Blast. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Xbox. Enjoy the games. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.